So travel vlog number one. Um, it's Friday, um, the 21st of February, uh, 2020, and um, off to a false start. I um, was I'm up in Sydney, flew up from Sydney to Melbourne on when, uh, Melbourne to Sydney on Wednesday, and um, was meant to pick up um, a car off a family friend, but it's in uh, the mechanic getting fixed and there's just been some delays so I'm sort of stranded in stranded so to speak in Sydney until that is fixed um, and then I have to go back down to Melbourne anyways for an event that I'm helping run um, yeah false starts I sort of jumped headlong into uh, the whole travel adventure thing I don't <laughs> really have that much savings or uh fuck all to be precise <laughs> and I'm just sort of like going from paycheck to paycheck anyways um with um my <clears throat> job as a junior software engineer remotely working remotely but um you know getting a false start has been a bit frustrating I I mean, fuck like <laughs> what are you supposed to do I just like in December decided I wanted to travel like literally you know meditating I was on a 10 day for Pashma retreat and I was like what the fuck am I doing uh, like I'm single I'm I don't have a contract I didn't have a contract on my apartment or had paid, I hadn't paid bond or anything. It was just like very casual setup, and I could work remotely. So I just decided in December to start traveling as soon as possible. And now it's you know sort of the second half of February, so that's barely three months to go from no travel plans to let's fucking travel as much as possible and move out and stuff. So like false starts to be ex expected, I suppose. Um, yeah, and <laughs> it's just, I feel like a bit of a fucking idiot, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like, I have this um, tendency to just jump into things, you know, and I've, it's, it's taught me some good life lessons. I think sometimes jumping into things before thinking too much is the right way to go about things because you can psych yourself out. I've psyched myself out of things. And um, sometimes just getting in, getting to go, and figuring it out as you go is the best way to get over fear of doing something. Um, but yeah, with that comes the acceptance that maybe it's going to be a bit messy at times, um, <laughs> which it's certainly. Yeah, this is. Oh, it's all right. Like, it's, I think in. When things get a bit messy, you can also find, I've found, opportunities to um, to, how do I say this, to pay attention to things that I wouldn't have paid attention to before, or if I, if things hadn't been messy. So like, you know, with this, you know, the car being delayed, for example, um, it just gives me more time to hang out in Sydney and to go and see my brothers and sisters that live in Sydney and spend some time in Sydney um, with my family. And obviously, like, I'm from Sydney originally, so um, it's not really anything to worry about. And I think that's true in a lot of other messy situations, like sometimes the mess or the thing that's forced you to slow down um, force me to slow down, makes me, like, pay attention to parts of my life that, um, I wouldn't have paid attention to before, but are important to me, but, yeah, sometimes life forces the priorities on you, you know, um, yeah, so, anyways, the, the car will hopefully, fingers crossed, be ready next Friday, so a week from now, um, then I'll drive back down to Melbourne, deliver finish off these two contracts which I've got, or these two deliverables, these two projects that I've got to um, come good on. Um, and then once I've done that, 
just full on on the road camping road trip style rather than sort of bouncing between major cities like <laughs> like actually do the thing that I'm trying to do um mm. I uh yeah I caught up with uh my dad um which uh which was good I uh me and my dad were estranged for like uh, a very long time two decades or something long story so I haven't really spent any time with him so yeah that was nice to hang out with him for a bit as well um, and there's been kind of like an emotional rebound I guess a kind of like what I say emotional whiplash to uh, all the moving which was very emotional for me chucking out stuff finding stuff from my past relationships throwing it out um you know, it's exhausting moving, throwing out, not throwing out, but donating probably more than 50% of my belongings, um, getting rid of sentimental stuff, saying goodbye to my housemate, throwing a party, like, it just took a lot of energy, and then, you know, coming to see my dad um, takes up a lot of emotional energy for me, so, yeah, yesterday, Thursday, and today, I've been pretty much fucking dead to the world, like, just, whew, no energy at all, just, luckily, where I am right now, down near La Perouse, Phillip Bay, um, which is where Captain Phillip landed, next to Lapa, one of, um, uh, one of the oldest, sort of, like, Aboriginal community mission things in the country, um, and yeah, I might make some might make a blog post about La Perouse, um in the uh, next couple of days while I'm out here. But fuck, man, just I was so surprised yesterday and today about just having no energy at all. I don't, yeah, it really took it out of me. So I, I'm fingers crossed this this weekend we'll be able to like have a bit more energy and motivation and pizzazz to like doc start documenting my travels properly. And I don't even feel like I'm travelling at the moment yet because I'm just staying at my godmother's place anyways. And, you know, it's like a second home for me um, other than mum's. So, yeah, I don't even feel like I'm travelling at the moment. I just feel like I've come up to Sydney <laughs> and just hanging out with my godmother and my godfather, like, not even travelling yet. But I suppose it still counts. Still still technically homeless. Oh. <laughs> yeah, still don't have a permanent residency and don't even have a car. I'm just camping in my godmother's backyard until such time that I can get on the road. Yeah, so I'm going to upload this. It's going to be my first. Not in the country because there are fucking planes flying overhead. I hate the flight paths in Sydney, hey? <laughs> yeah, anyways. First blog. First video blog. Um, not terribly eventful. In summary, don't feel like I'm traveling. I just feel like I'm visiting my family and don't have a car, don't have an apartment. Don't really have a plan other than cross my fucking fingers that the car will be <laughs> ready as soon as possible. Oh my God. Um, yeah, otherwise I've got to fly back down to Melbourne for my projects. Um, thanks for listening to me ramble and I will learn how to do better videos in the future. Yes. Good night.